I'd like to do a little video review of an item which is uh, not talked about a lot on the website. Um, there was a recent thread on Dutch ovens, and I love Dutch ovens. I own about four of them, and I use them for car camping a lot uh, ever since my kids were little. But anyhow, uh, Dutch ovens, even aluminum ones, are uh, too heavy for me to take. I just got back from a uh, solo canoe trip. It was a six-day trip up in the Boundary Waters. And um, a couple of the dishes I wanted to make, particularly pizza, uh, did require some sort of a baking thing. So uh, this is the fry bake oven. It's, uh, it's kind of highly touted by the uh, NOLS, the National Outdoor Leadership School or whatever. They've been using it for a long time. It comes in two different sizes. This size right here is the small size. I think they call it the Alpine model. And it's comprised of a uh, pan which is extremely high quality. It's hard anodized, but it's like, it's like satin. It's so smooth. I think they polish, they must polish the, uh, the aluminum before it's anodized. But anyhow, uh, the pan and uh, the lid, which is basically uh, unfinished aluminum, it's got a little bitty uh, stick-up prong. I'm actually going to put a piece of uh, wire on that because uh, when it's used, essentially the uh, Let's say pizza, for instance, the pizza dough and, and things are prepared, put in the pan, and you need a uh, heat source beneath the pan. I use my uh, click stand with a Tranja alcohol stove, and I set the uh, simmering for very, very low. You don't need a lot of heat underneath. And uh, basically, so you have the, 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 the heat underneath, pizza and then you build a fire on top of the pan obviously from the uh, all the, uh, the, uh, the organic residue left you can tell I've had fires on top of this and I'll uh, put another movie uh, where I was making pizza one night uh, on my uh, canoe trip in the pan so you can get an idea now the pan itself is uh, this is eight inches in diameter the pan and the lid itself uh, weigh, uh, the manufacturer says it weighs like 10 ounces. I, th I weigh it, it weighs close to 13 ounces, which is still pretty light. And plus, you know, obviously the pan can double up as a fry pan if you want to fry up some trout or whatever, or some potatoes. It's, it's uh, obviously used for that. And uh, I, t I tell you guys what, this is, uh, this is a great, great little product. It comes in a bigger one if you're with a group and um, you want to, uh, you know, cook for more than one person. But uh, I had some uh, very large fires made on top of this thing. One day it was raining, for instance, and I had to get a pretty good fire so it could keep itself going. And the top heat coming down, radiating down through this lid, really uh, does not have a propensity towards burning the food. So. You can be pretty aggressive on the on the heat underneath. I had more of a problem with the with the with the inferior heat getting too hot. So, like I'll I'll stress and reiterate, you don't need much heat from underneath. Uh, so, from the top heat and the bottom heat, this is a great product. And I'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, the video of the pizza I made one night, or a couple of nights actually, on my trip, and it was just perfect. It was like unbelievably good. And I would very, very strongly recommend this fry bake pan. Uh, the retail price on these is about 60 bucks for the small one. The big ones are obviously more expensive. I own the big one too, I'll be honest. I haven't used it yet because I haven't had opportunity to uh, bake on a, tr on a, <laughs> a group larger, si larger than one person, which is me. So, but this little one is just the cat's meow. I just thought I'd do a little movie of what I'm having for dinner. I'm making pizza. This is my fry bake pan, which is uh, hard anodized aluminum. And down underneath, can't see it, but there's an alcohol stove, a um, transia stove, kind of with a simmer ring on it, heat in the bottom of the pan, and on top of the pan you build this little fire, and so the uh, whatever you want to bake is getting it from both the top and the bottom. And so I'm having a uh, pizza dough with mozzarella cheese sticks and pepperoni. Yummy. I can't wait. I can hear it sizzling. It sounds great. 
Can you hear that pizza sizzling? Hot diggity. Mmm, deep dish pizza. <clears throat> the uh, crust is pretty thick. I'll cut the crust down next time. It's a little, it's a little dark on the bottom, but it sure is not bad. Look at that, yummy. Mmm. -hmm. Who says you have to rough it when you're camping? Yummy.